What's up everybody, it's Christopher Pond here, and welcome back to another bucket coding episode. It's been a while since I did um, one of these episodes, so I just decided to do one today. And yeah, hopefully uh, you will enjoy it and learn something from it. I don't know if a lot of my viewers will enjoy um, these episodes, so let me know if you do. Uh, you can leave a like or a comment saying you do. Or, and yeah. So let's get right into it. So today we are going to be discussing uh, how to make animated particles. And by animated particles, I mean like make spawning particles that go in a swirl or a helix or something in that fashion. So that this uses a bit of NMS. If you don't know what NMS is, um, it's the net.minecraft server, which is the original um, Minecraft server, and then Bucket just takes that and then compiles it into Bucket. So yeah, NMS is really um, kind of advanced. You learn that after you learn the basics, but I I don't really want to go in order from basic to advanced. So yeah, I'll just make an NMS video today. Um, and there are different categories of NMS. There are custom mobs, packets, um, NBT data, and yeah, a lot of other stuff. All right, so for this one, we're gonna be using packets because um, when you spawn in a particle, the server has to send a packet to the client and we can control what packet it sends and the information in that packet. So the packet we want to send is called packet play out world particles. And we can just name this packet. Then we, then we want to say new packet play out world particle, particles like that. So that's the constructor for it. Just go ahead and import it. And here it says net.minecraft.server, which is NMS. And then let's add player player to this method and then just have it taken the the player that executed this command. So yeah. Um then we have to cast player to a craft player and then you want to get the handle for the player, then get the player connection, and then you send the packet and this qualifies as a packet because this this class extends the packet class so it'll, um, it'll let you use it in this method uh, hopefully I didn't lose you yet this is kind of advanced now that I think about it <laughs> so yeah just um, bear with me uh, and yeah for the particle spawning it takes in the name of the particle and in this case, let's just use the um, the flame protocol it looks uh, really cool, really fixed, easy to work with. And then after that, it takes in the X location, the Z location, the Y location, then the X offset, Y offset, Z offset. Then I believe it's the amount and then the data. Or is it the data and the amount? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's the amount and then data. Alright. Uh, what I like to do is just create new lines. So yeah. And also let's create a simple variable to get the location for the player. Player dot get location. We'll just import that. Then we want to do L get block X. Or actually that returns an int. <laughs> I'll get X, I'll get Y, and I'll get Z. So yeah, uh, we still need to add the offsets and the amount and the data. So we just need to do that real quick. Um, let's just yeah make it all zero, and then actually that's the amount. So I want to make the data zero and the amount one 
It's saying. Okay. I have to cast this to a float. Because the constructor takes in floats only for the uh, position. And that'll work right there. So right now, if I were to execute this command, it will um, spawn in a flame particle uh, where the player is standing. And let me just browse it. Minecraft servers, plugins, and just call this tutorial. So I'm going to export it real quick and show you what it does. You just press enter. Reload the server, and right here, as you can see, I'm going to F1 mode, test, and you see it spawned in that flame particle and my feed. But now comes the animating part, <laughs> or as or as I like to call it, the fun part. So for this, you will always need a for loop, um, and for this for loop, actually, it has to be a double. Let's name this double y because it's going to uh, go up as our y axis goes up. And we want to start it off at 0. And while y is less than... Um, actually, let's make some variables up here to make it easier. Uh, we can add a radius. Let's make the radius 2. Uh, we can add a max height. And let's make that 5. And then we can, while y is less than 5, we can do y, we can add, uh, let's see, 0, 0 0.05 to y. And then, yeah, you can just copy and paste all of that into the for loop. It might, um, the indentation might glitch out. So, yeah, you can fix that. Um, and let's just make this a little easier to work with so yeah we got the Y so that's that part done and what is this error for cast argument 3 to flow oh, okay let's see we have to cast that whole thing to a float all right and then let's just um, add another set of parentheses for future use Okay, that didn't add the parentheses. All right, so we have the Y now. Now to get the X, we will have to do, we will have to find the sine of Y. And then to find the Z, you will have to find the cosine of Y. If you, if you know trigonometry, then you will have a lot of fun with these particles. What is? Oh, why don't I make that three? Where did three come from? Um, float, float. Why is it doing that? Um, maybe it's supposed to be block. Hmm. String double double. Okay, that's not a double. I don't know why it's saying it's a double. Um. Okay, this is casting that to a float. Will that work? Ah. Uh, create method x. That makes no sense. And so if I just do that. Hmm, delete this token, it says. Let's see. Create method x inside. And why would it need a method? Hmm. This is strange. L dot get x. L get Y, L get Z. And we have these down here. 
Um, let me try rewriting it, see if it works. Uh, float L get X. Or if I just do this right here. Hmm, I think it'll work. And there we go. Alright. Um oh yeah, I'm gonna have to multiply this by the radius. And make that max height. Alright, so we're good to go right now. Let's see if it creates a spiral. And there we go. <laughs> to make it more um, curvier, I think you can make this number smaller and it'll work. I haven't tested it though, I think. But theoretically, it should work. Hmm, yeah, I, I guess it kind of works. <laughs> um, I'll just keep it at 5 for now. Let's make the max height like 100 or so. just like that and it goes all the way up <laughs> and you can turn this into red dust and do some more advanced stuff with RGB percentage values and you can change the color of the particles and stuff um, so yeah I do that sometimes I think it looks really cool so yeah that's that's for another tutorial but for now um, this pretty much wraps up the episode I hope you had a I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.